this is how to fix a corrupted hard drive on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Let's go. So I will never forget the day that I plugged my external hard drive into my computer and it returned an error message. And I thought all my photos and everything special near and dear to my heart was gone. So as I said, today I'm going to be sharing with you a few different methods on how you can recover your data safe and sound from a corrupted hard drive. Now while this list will be mostly inclusive, I can't fit everything into one video. So if you need more information, go check the blog post and down below in the description for more details. And one more quick thing before we start is to follow the first and most important rule of data recovery and that is to stop using the drive in question as much as possible before you have the chance to run some of these methods that will just give you the best chance of recovery going forward. All right, let's get started. So there's really two trains of thought when it comes to recovering data from a corrupted hard drive. And the first one is going to be attempting to salvage data, which can be time consuming and expensive, or is just essentially wiping everything and starting from zero. And while today we are opting for the former, there are still a lot of ways that this can threaten the security of your data. And so, as a preemptive way to sort of protect and hedge your bets against that happening, what we can do is use something like a file recovery software such as Disk Drill to essentially give us the best chance of recovering our data and restoring drive functionality. I use Disk Drill for these scenarios all the time. It's fast, easy to use, extremely reliable, and with the Windows Edition downloaded from the link in the description, you can recover up to 500 megabytes of files for free. And even though we cannot technically logically access our drive from Windows Explorer, for example, Disk Drill is still able to scan it like normal. So that's what makes it my first choice in this specific scenario. Simply download Disk Drill, connect your device to your Windows PC, select your drive and run the scan. Then afterwards, you can review all of your found files before recovering them to a secure location separate from your drive for safekeeping. Now, truth be told, there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more that goes into Disk Drill. There's a lot more depth I could go into there. Uh, so if you do need more support in that area, I will leave a few relevant tutorial links down below in the description for you. But now with your data hopefully a little more secure, let's move on to the remaining three methods that will hopefully be able to restore the functionality of your drive once and for all. So first off, starting simple, just try a new device. And no, I don't mean a new drive, I mean a new computer, a new cable, just something that's going to break the chain to see if it maybe isn't even your hard drive. It might just be a computer or a bad cable or something that makes it seem like the drive itself is the problem when in reality, it's something totally unrelated. Connecting your hard drive to a different computer, a different operating system, or even using a different connector or cable can all make a difference. Now, if after this you successfully conclude that it is in fact the drive and you have isolated the problem to the drive, then you can move on. All right, so next up is one that has saved me many a time with drives and you know CFast cards and things like that, and that is a PowerShell and CMD command called check disk. So simply put, this is a command that will analyze a given disk for directory or file system errors and correct them if possible and thus restoring the drive's functionality. Uh, all you need to do is make sure that your drive is connected to your computer, and then right-click Start, and click Windows PowerShell and Admin. And if prompted, then Allow Access. Next, type Check Disk, followed by your drive letter, and then the rest of the command, and then go ahead and hit Enter once everything has been inputted. And this command will take some time to complete if your hard drive is large, but once it's done, it will have fixed any bad sectors or any of the smart data that may have become corrupted. And if that's the case, then your drive will likely be usable again. But if not, you can move on to method number three. All right, so last but not least is a method that is relatively new to me, but one that I've been very pleased with. And that is actually another piece of software called Victoria 911. So without getting too technical, Victoria 911 actually differs a little bit from the aforementioned disk drill in its core functionality, being that this software is really meant to fix internal drive errors, where disk drill is meant to actually recover files. That's really the differing factor there. And it's also technically a Belarusian software, but the language can be changed to English once you're inside it, inside the preferences. And there are also more advanced ways to boot specifically from that piece of software if the drive in question that you're trying to fix happens to be a boot drive or something like that. So there are some advanced options that can make this a very powerful agent, but we're just gonna be sticking with the fixing part of the software for now. 
All right, so here's how you can do it. So first of all, of course, download Victoria 911 from the link in the description and extract the files. Then once it's all extracted, go ahead and open it up, then click test and repair. Now make sure that the scan is set to read and ignore, and then go ahead and start the scan. Now, as you'll probably notice, my hard drive did not return any errors or bad sectors, and therefore there's really nothing left for me to do. However, if your drive does return some errors and or bad sectors, what you can do is enable the remap option, and that will enable Victoria 911 to fix your drive. So again, there's technically a lot more that can be done with that software, but that's where we're going to be leaving it today. There's a lot more information about it online, and if you want a further in-depth tutorial about it, then leave me a comment down below in the description. And now last thing that I just wanted to throw in here is uh, one more quick honorable mention, and that is formatting. But even within formatting, there are two separate methods that you can use that may actually lend better to your situation than the other. So the first would be a quick format. And what this does is it goes in and yes, it erases all of your data um, and it resets a lot of the file system. But there is the chance that after you perform a quick format, you could go in with a file recovery software and actually recover your data even after a quick format. So there is still a chance for file recovery after that. And I actually have made a tutorial that talks all about that that should hopefully be up on the channel soon. However, there is also a second option called full format. And at this point, it is beyond saving. If you enable full format and you format the drive with that option, it will essentially reset all of the sectors and pretty much just set everything back to zero to where there is no chance of recovering data at all. But that is the best likelihood of fixing your drive and restoring all of your functionality. So it really just depends on how valuable the drive is versus how valuable the files are. That's kind of the last ditch effort, but it is there if you need it. Well, that's it. That is how you recover files and hopefully restore functionality to a corrupted hard drive on a Windows 10 or 11 PC. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you got something out of it. If you did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. And until next time, my name is Andrew, and thank you for watching.